Hey, hi. In this video, I will show you how you can create Azure Cosmos DB using Terraform and deployment via GitHub Actions. Okay. So as you see, my environment is um, completely ready now. Um, uh, to know more about how you can set up your environment like GitHub account, GitHub repo, um, GitHub Actions and secrets, please do watch my previous videos where I have explained everything from the scratch. And also, please do subscribe my channel. Uh, uh, that would really encourage me a lot. Okay. Uh, with that, let's directly jump to our demo. So as you see here, this is my environment where I have cloned my repo. So this is my repo, uh, which I have cloned from my GitHub account. Uh, so this repo um, uh, contains um, um, uh, workflow files. That is the GitHub action files. One is uh, Terraform apply and the Terraform plan. So these are mean for um, respect to task, task as the name says, like Terraform for the Terraform plan purpose. I use this Terraform plan uh, file uh, for Terraform apply file task i will use the terraform uh, apply task okay so let me uh, quickly uh, walk you through this one as you, as you here shows um, shows uh, so whenever i make changes to my uh, feature branch so indeed i have only uh, two branch one is the feature branch which i denote it as a development branch so whenever i make my changes or when i do infrastructure as a coding so i do on a future branch so um, so uh, so once the coding is done and once i um, commit my changes to upstream branch so this uh, pipeline will be kicked in and it will create a draft of what actually the terraform will going to create in my subscription okay so that's what this action is mean for and uh, the again the same uh, same like uh, plan but here it is pointing to a main branch but actually uh, this file will do um, actual provisioning okay so actual provisioning of my infrastructure so that's a brief about uh, um, the github action uh, um, uh, workflow of files yeah so under the root folder i have uh, uh, two more file with the name uh, create um, azure cosmos db and uh, main terraform file so let me quickly brief about uh, what is the main terraform file so the main terraform file is contains the provided data so this is the provided data and it also contains a, a terraform backend configuration which is mean for storing the terraform state file okay so this is pre-created and it's already uh, is working okay so that's a brief about uh, main terraform file so this is the uh, so this again the create azure cosmos db data db terraform file is the core file which contains all the logic um, uh, to create the azure cosmos db in my subscription okay so so this is the file so let me quickly walk you through this uh, course uh, then we can directly jump to our demo of creation this uh, creating the service so as you know that uh, to create any azure services we should be having an um, uh, azure um, uh, resource groups so this so this is the code block uh, which is meant for doing the same task so as you see here so this is my keyword for creating the azure resource group this is my variable which is storing the uh, data for the azure resource group inside this the flower bracket block i'm giving the required parameter one is the name and the location yeah so currently i'm i'm creating the resource group in the east us location and this is my name yeah so that's the resource group creation part and the next one is uh, we are directly creating the um, um, so we are directly creating the Azure Cosmos DB accounts. Okay, so to create a Cosmos DB, you need to have an account, right? So, so this is the block which will create a Cosmos DB um, account. Okay, um, yeah. So the keyword. So this is the keyword. Okay, the keyword is um, Azure RM underscore um, Cosmos DB underscore account. So this is the keyword which will create Azure Cosmos DB account. And this is the variable um, again, uh, which is where uh, my data will be stored, where the um, uh, the Azure Cosmos DB account creation data will be stored. And the again, um, so inside the flower bucket block, we are we are uh, we are giving the required parameters. So that is one is the name of your um, Cosmos DB account and the location. So the location is again referencing to the same location where my RG is getting created with this uh, syntax. Okay. Then this is the resource group name. So again, I'm referencing to my same resource group name which I have created above. Then the offering time. So the, what is the uh, offering of my Cosmos DB account? That is the standard. Okay, you are free to choose whichever the all-level option. And the kind. Okay, so what is the kind of my DB? Is it's a global document DB. So henceforth, I'm just uh, choosing that one. Then the automatic failover. Yeah. So I am enabling the automatic failover equal to true because because of this configuration, uh, your Cosmos DB will be highly available in the sense uh, once the your primary locations goes down, the DB will be replicated to the secondary um, secondary locations and the uh, your um, so your data will be available always. Okay. Even though there is a um, um, error in the first location, the the data it, uh, the Azure will make sure that the uh, your DB will be available in the second location. Okay. So that's a mean for um, this future that is um, um, automatic failover. 
yeah so then then the, again i have one more object uh, type parameter that is the consistency policy uh, the consistency policy level is i'm making it as a session yeah and again i have one more um, um uh, the uh, parameter in the format of object that is the geolocation so so here the geolocation configurations i'm doing mean for highly availability purpose okay that is nothing but failure purpose one is geolocation where i'm making the priority equal to one that is the secondary locations okay so the secondary location is west to west as you know that the my um, account that is the cosmos db account is getting created in the east west which is the primary location the second locations of the same db will be west to west to west and the for the private will become uh, priority will become one similarly for the priority zero nothing but this is the primary location where the um, the uh, the database sits okay so this is the location that is the um, so that is the east to west where the uh, pri where the this is the uh, primary location hence for the failure property where priority will be zero so uh, that's again uh, the failure priority is again the uh, the index okay so index of array right so if we add the the first item will be zero the second item will be one right so henceforth the values are zero and one yeah so that makes the uh, definition of um, um, azure cosmos db account creation so let's go to the next block so the next block is on 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 in regards to the creation of um, sql cosmos um, cosmos uh, db uh, sql database that is creating the database purpose okay you have an account so in that account you will be creating your cosmos db yeah so they again the keyword for um so keyword for the cosmos db database is um, azure rm cosmos db underscore sql underscore database okay so don't get don't go and get confused with the sql database being given here but yeah so this is the resource type of um, terraform to create azure um, cosmos db database okay so remember like that and this is the variable uh, which will be storing my data and inside this flower bracket block we are giving the required parameters to create that one is the name of the your database that is i'm making it generally i'm giving it as a product okay you are free to give what is your database name is uh, then the resource group so again the resource group name i'm pointing to the uh, same resource group where my cosmos db account is being created okay the, this is the syntax to do the same um again the account name so what is the account name so this is my uh, cosmos db account where my database will be hosted that is the cosmos database yeah so one you have the um, now you have two things ready one is your uh, cosmos db account you insert the account you have the cosmos database now insert the cosmos cosmos database you need to again have a container nothing but partition right so henceforth um, here we are creating the uh, cosmos db container yeah so this is the block which is responsible for doing that uh, again it's a resource and, and the the keyword or the resource type for creating the same cosmos db database container is uh, azure rm underscore cosmos db underscore uh, sql underscore container okay so this is the keyword or resource type for it uh, this is my variable again and inside this flower bracket block we are giving the required parameters one is the name so what is the name of your um, container that is a is cosmos db uh, database container this is the device so so the, this is the container means device uh, then the uh, resource group so again the resource group i'm pointing to the same resource group where my cosmos db account will be sitting right so yeah so this is the um, so this is the uh, reference to that again the account name so they, this is nothing but uh, my um, cosmos db account name yeah again the so inside the cosmos db which is the database this container needs to be stored so this is the database again i'm referencing to the same um so after that the partition key path so the, again i'm creating the uh, one more partition that is the device so our uh, root so device will be the partition name yeah so that's it so this is the complete um complete walkthrough okay um so this is the complete walkthrough of um complete code walkthrough of creating the um, azure cosmos db yeah um uh, so once uh, once once we are uh, once we uh, successfully since we have successfully um, successfully gone through the um, creating the um, uh, creating azure cosmos db uh, terraform code now let's let's directly jump to um, uh, jump to our demo yeah so let me take you to the my demo so uh, one minute so as you see here so we have completely walked through here and and this is my future branch which is already in synced mode okay so that's already synced so let's let's go to github account so so as you see here so this is my uh, github account it contains a repo with the name uh, so this is this is my github um, uh, repo as you see here so this is the, my main branch um, through with uh, through which only which um, i will be provisioning the required uh, um, cosmos db resource to my um, azure account yeah as you see here so there is no um, cosmos db creating terraform file now currently that file is sitting in my um, one more branch so that branch is the feature branch one yeah and uh, once i merged my changes to that branch uh, my action that is my github actions directly uh, got kicked in 
okay so this is the terraform plan yeah so this is the um, the terraform plan action which got successfully ran just a while before this video got started yeah so let me quickly walk you through the terraform plan of the same so in in this workflow uh, log um, so uh, as you see here, it says uh, the, it, it, the logs exactly explains what actually the Terraform will do on your subscription. Only it says like it's going to add the Cosmos DB account one thing. Yeah, uh, it is creating the, um, the container uh, that is the database container, a Cosmos database container. It is creating a Cosmos DB container here. And it is also creating an RG. Okay, so even though the sequence is here and there, but actually the Terraform will make sure that it will create the resources one after the other in, in, in a proper order. Okay. And the, at the end, uh, uh, the plan, okay, the plan summary says it's going to add uh, four resources, uh, zero changes and zero destroy, okay, yeah. So that's that's a quick walkthrough about walk through the logs of Terraform plan stage, okay. Um, so let let's let's go to the uh, Terraform apply um, uh, action, okay, how the Terraform uh, uh, apply works, okay. So to to kick in the Terraform apply, I need to merge the pull request uh, being created. So let's create a pull request against my uh, main branch. As, as I explained that the Terraform apply is pointing to uh, main branch, henceforth I need to make these changes gets merged, merged uh, to my main branch, then only the Terraform apply will kick in, yeah. So that is this kind of um, um, strategy which I have created so that I am achieving the development and the production release as well, right. So, but you are free to um, create your own strategy on how to release to uh, how to release your environment to the to the production. Okay, yeah. So this um, pull request got created. Let me merge it so that the Terraform plan um, Terraform apply uh, stage can kick in. Yeah. So the merger got completed. Let's see if the Terraform apply action got started. Yeah. So as you see, uh, it says like the Terraform merger, uh, Terraform apply. Yeah. So let's me click, click on this um, Terraform apply. So the Terraform apply action got started and and uh, yeah. So it's currently running in. Um, so let me uh, quickly parallelly show you that how the Terraform apply um, stage works. Okay. So as you see, um, again, I will again always recommend you to um, always scan the uh, Terraform plan and the Terraform apply log so that you will understand that how Terraform actually works. Okay, once you know that the how the Terraform works, then you, you will be having a grip on, on, on coding as well. Okay, so once you know the, how the Terraform works, then you can directly that would really uh, help you to um, um, uh, write the infrastructure as a code using Terraform. As you see here, it's currently successfully created an RG. Yeah, so the RG is already created and it's now currently creating the Cosmos DB account. Okay, once the Cosmos DB account is created, it will create a um, um, database and inside the database, it will create an, a container. Okay, so that marks the um, uh, Terraform apply tasks. Okay. So it is still creating as you see the logs are getting printed every 10 seconds yeah once the cosmos db account is created i will show you uh, in my subscription yeah so this is my subscriptions where uh, the uh, the cosmos db account is getting created as you see the rg is got created and currently uh, the Cosmo in this rg it is creating a cosmos db account yeah it's, it's in provisioning stage okay let's see uh, it is still yeah it is still creating it will take some time because the cosmos db um, resource creation is a bit of time consuming okay uh, henceforth it is taking the same time here as well yeah let's wait uh, for uh, meantime that uh, the resource gets created so let me uh, show you so this is my um, this is my subscription it contains um, one rg which is getting provisioned now and this is the rg which host uh, my Terraform backend. Okay, so it, it contains a Terraform backend configuration nothing But it contains a storage account. So inside the storage account. I have um, a container where I'm storing the Terraform um, Backend configuration nothing but Terraform state file. So that's the same state file which will be used by these workflows um, uh, to to, uh, to do the Terraform plan and the to do the Terraform apply as well. Okay So the Cosmos um, um, DB account is still getting created. Uh, okay, we need to wait until it gets created successfully Parallel, let me show you uh, the what the account status uh, shows in. I, I believe that it will be um, it will be in the um, uh, creating stage. Okay, creating status. Yeah. Um, so uh, let it get loaded. Okay, so that I can show you that. Um, it is still creating, and uh, here is the console which is getting loaded. So as you see here, so it's still uh, still getting created, still getting provisioned. Okay. Yeah, the account got successfully created. Uh, so it should be um, next. It should be show here as well. 
um once once the cosmos db account uh, uh, creation gets uh, successful here it will start provisioning the um, uh, again the cosmos db uh, database and and the container will be provisioned after that one okay so this is the um, this is the cosmos db account inside that you should be having an db as well okay so uh, let me show you that database as well so um yeah so this um, so yeah here is the uh, replication data will be um, um, presented here yeah so it will be created across uh, two regions right so one is the east to west and the west to west region which we have created okay and um, so data explorer so here is the data explorer through which you can explore your cosmos db related data um yeah so so this is uh, this is the um you are uh, cosmos db account you are free to explore again it okay i would really encourage you to explore this um, cosmos db account on your own okay uh, so let's see if if it finished the creation okay so it's still still getting created yeah because it has to provision the two things right one is in the primary primary reason and it has to configure the secondary reason okay henceforth it has taken such a time okay now it is um, successfully provisioned the uh, the cosmos db account now it is provisioning the database as i as i explained yeah so once the database provision is successful it will create a, um, the container as well okay um so again um so let me reiterate you please um, have a patience to um to scan through these logs um, um, many times so that you will understand that how actually the terraform um uh, reads those the declarative language and starts the provisioning of the resources right so that would um, that would really um, really helps you in, in in writing the code okay so you will understand so once you have the knowledge about how the uh, terraform will read these uh, declarative language and starts provisioning the azure resources or the any other cloud resources uh, then according to that only you you will get an idea like how you can um, uh, create a code uh, to provision your resources right yeah so um, uh, let's wait for some more time so that it can finish its um, its other two resource creations once the resource creation is been finished yeah here you go so it, it has successfully provisioned the sql database now it is creating a container inside inside that uh, inside that cosmos db uh, database uh, database yeah so um, yeah so here you go so let, let, let's uh, let's wait and let's see if it has provisioned something here um no so the, the database will be sitting in the same um, account as well so henceforth we are not able to see there so data exploration so let me take you here so that i can show you something um so let's see if it has successfully created uh, the the container so it's currently provisioning the container as well yeah and uh, uh, these are the so these are the um, the features of cosmos db account uh, so you can explore on these and 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 get started with using this service okay so this demo was mean for um, mean for creating um, uh, provisioning the cosmos db related infrastructure via via terraform okay via devops vr via terraform uh, here you go it has successfully provisioned all the required resources and the and the workflow is also successful okay so let me finally show you what it has done in the terraform apply um, stage okay so as you show as, as i shown you that it has successfully provisioned that day the uh, the cosmos um, account database okay so this is the uh, id of that and and after that it has provisioned the um, the cosmos database um, uh, container as well yeah and finally uh, the summary says um, the, let me show you the summary how it looks so it, it has says the apply is complete and the resource four resources have been added and zero changes have been made okay so that's it that's that, that's it so this marks the completion of uh, our demo and here you go your your cosmos db is ready now okay uh, with that note um, uh, this is the end of this demo uh, thanks for watching my videos and also uh, please do uh, uh, subscribe my channel okay and and that would really encourage me a lot okay with that note thanks thanks for uh, watching my videos thank you thanks a lot